Uh, my name is Doug Burbank. Uh, I teach at the Brooks School. I am chairman of the mathematics department. And this year I'm teaching all mathematics, so this is my home. I have an iPhone on the wall. Right. If I were to fill this, I this wall with iPhones, how many would it take? The first time I saw a painted wall with this whiteboard paint is I went out to visit a former student at Google out in California. And I was, he was giving me a tour and I walked by this hallway. It was a big open space, but on one of the walls, it was painted um, with this whiteboard paint. And someone had initially wrote down an idea. And then as you walk by, if you have something to add to it, you would just pick up one of the markers and add. The whole idea of expanding on other people's idea and to have this limitless wall really appealed to me. It was something that I knew eventually I would get into my classroom because I think the artist in me uh, felt really restricted by the small canvas of the traditional whiteboard, which is normally four by eight feet, and I wanted a really large canvas. And I said, I, I need to find out who did it and get in touch with this company and paint my wall. Yeah. So what I'd like you to go is go to the rent. The students didn't, didn't know that when they walked into my room, they would see this large uh, whiteboard. At first, everyone was so confused because we thought he had just drawn on the wall. We were like, okay. <laughs> it was covered in grass, and at first we were like, how do you get up there? Like, None of us had ever seen anything like this before, so it was, it was pretty cool. The first day of classes, I had the wall filled with maybe 20 to 30 different graphs of functions. And to have them all up there so I can compare one to the other and to have the most common functions all up on my board at once at a large scale, um, they, I think they really responded well to it. Uh, my name is Ki Hak Nam. I'm a faculty member at Brooks School, and I teach math and theology. And then you have two equations with two variables. So we always get engaged in conversations um, about education. And over the summer when we were uh, talking about how to best incorporate teamwork uh, within the classroom, uh, the whole idea of pain, pain came up. Uh, so we decided to uh, give it a try to my class uh, uh, painting two tabletops. It was pretty exciting because we just started writing things right away. Um, everyone kind of gathered around, I would say, and we just wanted to try it out because it's, it's easier to sit there and use the board instead of having to walk up and use the board in front of the class. Before, you'd get a, your own piece of paper, a piece of scrap paper, scribble it out and do answers like that. But when you got the whiteboard, you were able to write, see everything you did compared to other people around you when they're right next to you and stuff. And just more, it, me personally, it helps because I'm more of a visual learner than a written learner and stuff like that. So the mission of the school, which has changed recently, is to provide the most meaningful education in your child's lifetime. And for me, for education and, and teaching to be meaningful, learning to be meaningful, it can't be mathematics here, biology here, art over here, and to have them taught in isolation. For, for learning to be meaningful, it all has to come together. Right? In a math classroom, there's got to be an element of art, some creativity involved. In an art classroom, there's got to be some logic to your thinking. And this wall just helps me in getting closer to that, to the mission of the school.